We're here at uh, Linaro Connect and uh, who are you? So my name's Stuart Montes. Uh, I work for Linaro uh, working on OpenJDK. So uh, what is OpenJDK? Uh, OpenJDK is the open source um, project that um, works on uh, uh, Java virtual machine and runtime. Um, so uh, Java virtual machine, mm -hmm. so uh, that's a big deal, no? It's used very heavily in terms of commercial workloads. Uh, lots of middleware, your bank will no doubt run on it. Um, lots of websites use it. There's a good deal of technology that depends upon it. So how long have you been working with this and what have you done with it? Um, well, with OpenJDK in particular, I've been working on the past couple of years um, on that, um, for year 64, doing some performance work, some feature work, um, some building work um, and little bits and pieces here and there. So, um, is it is it great support right now on the ARM64? It's only getting better. Um, the, the very core of all of this effort is Red Hat. So, Andrew Haley's team um, is doing, have been there from the beginning and uh, wrote it initially. Um, and various different members are starting to engage more with it. And so how long have you been involved with Linaro? My involvement goes back probably to around about 2013, 2014, um, where I initially worked on uh, Android work, the Android runtime and 64-bit Java on there. And you just made it work? It just worked? Um, Nothing's just, of course. Um, so myself and my colleagues in ARM had been working on that for a good... Yeah. <laughs> um, had been working on that for a good year or so before it became public. Um, and so we've, it's been continuing ever since then. It's become mainstream. And uh, uh, so it, what is, the, what is the, the target of this project right now? OpenJDK needs better optimization on, on the ARM? So what various people and partners are interested in are the performance. Um, that's, that's always going to continue. Um, understanding the performance characteristics of OpenJDK is, is, is one, one thing you do when you're working on server chips. Um, a, a, another is making sure we have um, all the features you, you would come to expect on a, a virtual machine. Because, as far as I understand, some of the ARM server chips are very cool, very awesome, very powerful, but it, 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 if some software is not optimized, that could be an issue. So, right? It's Java is a big deal. Everybody wants it. Yes, and um, Java has been around for a long time. Um, Pre-AR64, people have been optimizing Java on their chips for the past 20 years. So, there is going to be uh, lots of work to do. And how does it work? How do you do that? It's one of these things where we have two strands. There's, there's working on features, so things that are not there, you initially write, get working. Um, performance is a lot of um, in-depth, detailed work that doesn't necessarily um, produce lots of um, results. So you have to spend a lot of time understanding how things work understanding what that does on your machine, looking for areas that need improvement, whether it be in your architecture or whether it be in the language implementation itself. Um, a lot of what we will look at are the, the tooling that's available. Um, so OpenJDK doesn't run in isolation. It, it is compiled by GCC. GCC has to work well. We use debugging tools. GDB has to work well. It's obviously running on the C libraries. They have to work well. Um, it runs on the Linux kernel. That needs to be understood and um, uh, improved to where necessary. And tools such as Perf and all the tool chain on top of that also uh, need to work well. So it's, it's, Java's very good at bringing all of these things together. Um, it uses lots of memory. It does lots of things concurrently. Uh, stresses locks. So there's lots of analysis that, that, that needs to be done and, and is being done.
Uh, do you have a, like a nice team around you also working together with you? There's um, the, the the Open JDK team is massive as a whole. There are various people with various interests. In AR64 in particular, we have uh, Red Hat very much uh, at the core and driving this. We have uh, quite a number of folks in ARM who are working on this. Um, there's myself and Lenaro. And we have uh, a speaker coming tomorrow from Bellsoft who uh, will be talking about their optimizations. And uh, so you just work uh, in the open source, collaborate, figure out some things, make it better and better every week. Does it get better, or how did? Uh, when have you reached perfect optimization, and then you can go do something else? Never. Never. Um, if you look at folks such as uh, IBM, they've been optimizing um, Java since 1995, and they haven't stopped since. So I don't expect this ever to to go away. How many other things are required to optimize? So Java is just one thing, right? How many other things are there in the in the narrow in the Linux world? That's are there many different kind of languages around it that are also each of them optimized? Well, I mean, if, if you're talking about the Linux world in particular, um, my colleagues in ARM uh, do deal with many runtimes. Um, I'm sure you can find folks to talk about Lua. There's people working on uh, Go. Um, Rust, not so much that I can think of. Obviously, GCC for C and C++. Um, anywhere where there is a particular need for optimization, um, it's, it's important to get engineering resources on that. Um, so what happens in the Linaro Connect? Are you having some meetings with some people you, you were only chatting with? Yes, you'll notice from the um, schedule there are four talks this year on OpenJDK, which I'm quite pleased. So there's Sean Kelly from Ampere, who was speaking yesterday about um, what he's doing for performance. Um, there was Nin Sheng, who was talking about um, the scalable vector extensions in Java. Um, we were going with that, that was of my talk. And then there's tomorrow there's uh, Dimitri's talk on optimizing, uh, analyzing and performance on OpenJDK. So, so it's been very good. Is it ready for prime time? Do people just take the servers and be super happy? Um, I believe so. Uh, there are, are people who, who I do believe we have a, a solid uh, runtime. Um, in terms of performance, workloads are as variable as uh, individuals. Um, we will continue to optimize it, and where there, if there are issues, um, certainly get in contact with the community. Is there a lot of uh, hardware acceleration going on in these ARM chips that helps? Um, for <coughs> Java in particular, um, hardware acceleration is an interesting area. Um, where we are mostly um, interested are, and to a certain extent this work's been done, is for, say, crypto, where there are Java APIs that do cryptography. And so we, we make sure that the uh, the instructions supported in ARM for crypto are, are actually used as opposed to the defaults. So it's mostly cryptography. You can't just have a hardware accelerated Java stuff. All the rest of the Java. Uh, you have to think about what that would mean. Um, is there offload off to GPUs? Not, not so much just now. Um, Java is very much used for uh, obviously things, databases. There's, there's um, transaction handling, so your traditional middleware, you're doing um, enterprise and all of that business. Um, you're really looking at moving memory around doing network operations. So the acceleration may be a little bit beyond Java itself. And to do a, a, a software optimizations, does that mean you're very good at mathematics or what is, it, what is involved? You have to have, you, you're looking at the whole code and you kind of see what can be optimized. How does it work? It's, it's a difficult area. Um, in terms of mathematics, there are certainly areas where uh, it's advisable to have a good basis in um, numerical analysis. So if you're optimizing mathematical functions, you need to be very solid in that. Um, that's not something I have a background in, not something I've touched. For 
there's there's lots of aspects to this. So there's understanding what the CPUs are doing, what's bad, what's good there. So understanding how caches work, um, understanding pipelines and what's significant there is, is quite important. Having the ability to analyse and actually drill down to something you can actually work with is, is where the skill comes. And where I believe what we've got just now is pretty good that any further gains are going to be small incremental gains um, that may be very difficult to measure, so fractions of a percent. Um, so it's a case of iterating over this, seeing what workloads there are, because your optimizations are very workload dependent very often. You, you optimize for what is common. All right, so uh, so hopefully the, the ARM servers are going to take over the whole market, right? And, you, and your software, your optimizations are going to be in there. Yeah, we'll make sure that there's, that's not, not where the blockers are. <laughs> <laughs>